Welcome to Gdansk on the Baltic Sea in Poland for Balts Military Expo 2018, where the local and international defense industry is showcasing their latest naval innovations. In our day one video, we're focusing on the ARCA program as the Polish Navy is looking to procure three modern diesel electric submarines to renew its submarine force. We have been proposing the, the 214 and the 212 class, um, and currently we are offering uh, uh, Poland to join the development program that uh, Germany and Norway are currently developing, the 212 CD program, whereas CD stands for common design. So both nations have identified that they want to uh, use synergy effects and want to create a new class of submarines based on the uh, existing characteristics of the 212 design, uh, but bringing that to the next level. What we are offering will be identical to what uh, Germany and Norway will be procuring. Uh, this is what we have also discussed with the Polish uh, MOD uh, because this will allow uh, Poland to join this, uh, let's call it a user club of a certain submarine class which will bring significant cost reductions in the life cycle and also uh, facilitate logistic support, training and, and all these aspects. So the qualities that will change, uh, because the 212 class already is a very stealthy and very silent submarine, uh, we are bringing the characteristics in the area of signatures uh, also uh, down, so we are reducing the signatures where, where we can. We are also focusing on um, uh, giving the boat more endurance and um, on uh, reducing the target echo strains. So this year we are uh, showcasing uh, one uh, new HMI concept that is uh, uh, or could be developed into the new uh, combat management system for the 212 CD uh, class, which will then be the baseline for our future combat management system. Um, we are taking into account uh, uh, new te technologies that are uh, enabling people to interact differently with, uh, with the user HMI uh, in comparison to what ha has been possible before. And uh, you see that uh, it, it allows you to uh, also design your CMS consoles more flexibly. So these are not real CMS consoles, but these are um, uh, consoles that can show you what the HMI and interoperability are capable of, of bringing to the user. In terms of uh, submarines, we are offering a Scorpion class submarine. It's the most modern and more uh, complete conventional submarine that we can find in the market to date. Uh, in fact, inside we have already incorporated the latest technology that was also incorporated to the last nuclear attack submarine for the French uh, Navy. And the main advantage is uh, even if it is a conventional submarine, inside we have already included all the technology that we have already applied to our nuclear submarine, especially for the new attack submarine for the French Navy, the program Barracuda, in terms of uh, combat system and in more specific in terms of weapons. You have in front of you the naval cruise missile. It's a long-range strike missile. Plus, you have the anti-ship Exocet SM-39, well-known uh, around the world. So for the very first time we are proposing for the Polish Navy the long range strike uh, naval uh, cruise missile and uh, it will give a, a deterrence capability to this uh, Orca submarine uh, program and it's a unique uh, partnership with Naval Group. Naval cruise missile, it's the same family as the air launch uh, cruise missile from MBDA, meaning uh, you have a long range, uh, a very accurate uh, weapon 
Uh, what is important also to bear in mind is that our customer they have full autonomy, full sovereignty on the product. So simultaneously, we deliver the mission preparation and maintenance tool uh, to maintain the uh, weapon uh, through the uh, whole life of the uh, of the product. And of course, we will have a partnering uh, with the uh, local uh, companies in uh, Poland. We are offering the A26 and uh, the A26 for Poland is uh, modified at A26 where we have put in one more module. Uh, the boats where we, we are, we build the boats in a, in a very simplistic way. We make a hull which is basically a cylinder and then we, we put in a platform. On the platform we put all the different modules. And the effect of this is that uh, the boat will resist very high shock uh, and that it will get uh, very, very low emissions of sound. And signature is something that is extremely important on submarines. Last week uh, we did take back the Gotland, which is the, the first of series in the Gotland series. Uh, the Gotland was taken in. We have uh, uh, cut her in two, took out the guts, put in new guts and then cl closed her back, uh, made her even two meters longer, uh, put one more ring uh, with, with, with some equipment and uh, uh, last Wednesday she went back into the water. Uh, of the systems we put in, the 20 most important systems are identical to the ones we put into the A26. Uh, by doing so, what we do is that uh, we mitigate the risks for introducing them in the A26 series. We reduce the cost for, uh, for, for holding spares. Uh, we reduce the number of items and we also make it much more easier when it comes to training the crews. So they have the same systems both for training and, and, and then for, 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 for working with at sea. So I, I'd say that the Gotland 2.0 could also be called an A26 0.9. We are building number one and we have actually started building number two as well. Uh, so uh, uh, yes, uh, this is, this is uh, something that is being built as we speak. One of the reasons why we are, this is our first time at exhibiting the Balt Military Expo is to showcase a lot of the solutions that we feel we can bring to Polish industry, maritime domain. And one of the examples is here we exhibited the USS Virginia class submarine, not because we are trying to sell a US based submarine, but rather because we provide components, subsystems for submarine makers, regardless of who wins the Orca Prime. The subsystems that Lockheed primarily produces for other companies would include the communications antennas. Chris, can you get, please guide us through the types of antennas that Lockheed Martin designs and manufactures? Yeah, there are several. Uh, first of all, we manufacture what's called the BWA, that's a buoyant wire antenna. So that's a towed antenna, towed behind a submarine. And it is, uh, comes from a winch that can be mounted internally or externally, depending on the circumstances. We've sold both to international allies. We also have a loop antenna that is externally mounted to the hull, and we also provide a number of mast antennas. Lockheed has got expertise in this area because we've been working with our lines of business in producing these products for several decades, both for the U.S. Navy and for allied international navies. 